As you're probably aware of, or you wouldn't be watching this video, modern day laser printers, their toner cartridges actually have a sensor built in that tells the laser printer when it's empty so that the laser printer will stop printing pages until you put a new toner cartridge in there. That's all fine and good, except that these sensors are set up to trip long before they're actually out of toner. Oftentimes you can get double the life of a toner cartridge out of these printers. Um, if you're a conspiracy theorist, you could say that that's just to sell more toner cartridges. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Uh, but a lot of times I don't have a spare toner cartridge with me at the moment. I just need to get another five or ten pages printed today. I don't have time to run down to uh, the office supply store and buy another one. So using um, uh, a hack where you can hack these toner cartridges to print some more pages is a good thing to know for your particular printer. The problem is, is my printer is a Brother HL-L2320D. And try as I might, I could not find any instruction out there on YouTube or on the internet on how to hack the toner cartridge for that particular model printer. All the instructions I've been able to find revolve around some kind of a little laser light that shines through the, the toner cartridge and you've got to cover the little window up with a piece of tape so that the laser can't shine through and that's then the uh, printer doesn't know that it's out of toner cartridge. This particular model printer does not use that method. So finally, I just took the time to disassemble one of these toner cartridges figure out how it uh, how it's tri triggered and uh, and how to reset it thought I'd share that with the uh, the rest of the world maybe it'll help you maybe it won't uh, one thing to keep in mind I'm not a printer repair man I don't know anything about your printer uh, don't leave comments below saying will it work with this printer or how to make it work with that printer I know what I know and that's it but hopefully what I'm about to show you will work for you and if it doesn't work for you it might give you some ideas on how to modify your toner cartridge so that um, uh, you can get some more printing out of it even after the uh, the light has been triggered. With this particular cartridge, on this side here, orienting it this way, you'll see we have uh, two screws that need to come out. We have this screw right here, and we have that screw right there. And then this entire black cap removes. But basically, what we're after, let's see if I can get a good picture of it here in focus. See this little, this movable tab right here on this circular slot? On a full toner cartridge, this tab is all the way over on this side. As you begin to print with the toner cartridge, it begins to slowly rotate around until it gets down to this position here. That's the trigger to tell the printer it's out of toner cartridge or out of toner and uh, time to replace it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this cap off. We're going to rotate that knob back over that tab back over there, and then put the cap back on. So we'll go ahead and remove the two screws now. Be kind of careful removing these screws. There is a spring underneath there. It's not really under under spring tension so much, like it's going to go flying across the room but you also don't want to drop it and have it uh, get lost somewhere. Okay, let's get this guy off. There we go. So we'll gently remove this cap. And there is that spring I was telling you about that you don't want to you don't want to lose. So let's go ahead and pull our spring off. And we'll set it inside the cap here for now so we don't lose it. Okay, so here's that tab. So uh, we can't just turn it because it's got teeth on, on the bottom. We'll see if we get a shot of that. That engage those white uh, those white gears there. But you just slide it up so that it disengages the teeth. Rotate it till it's, oh, about the 3 o'clock position, I'd say. And uh, you can tell uh, where it's in the right position because on the bottom, there's this uh, black tab here. You can see it, that's as far, basically, over to that direction as it can go without hitting a stop there. So it's about the three o'clock position. So after we do that, we'll just reassemble. Opposite of how we took it apart, put our spring back in there and put our cap back on. Reinstall the screws. And when we put this, this toner cartridge back inside the printer, it uh, will now not uh, trigger that light. It'll think it's a full toner cartridge. You'll be able to print uh, jobs until the tab gets back over there to uh, over to that seven o'clock position approximately where it was when we started in which case it'll trigger again on you if you want you can repeat this process as many times as you want however like i said with these smaller cartridges like the tn 630 i um i really uh, find that about two two times you know triggering the empty is about all i get and then my my pages start getting pretty dim and hard to read um, this particular hack, I'm assuming, will work with any model printer that uses the TN630 toner cartridge that I've got in my hand. So um, even if your printer is not the uh, Brother HL2320D like I've got, 
there's a real good chance that um, if you're using TN630 toner cartridges that this hack's going to work. Give it a try. Let me know in the comments if it worked for you. And um, good luck. Hope it helps. Bye.